I just thought I would share with you what cleavers or sticky willy looks like as it's coming up. You can see it's here in my little bark pathway so it's really showing up well. Um, so this is what it looks like as it's just coming up. You might be more familiar with it as it gets woodier and gets all the little sticky burrs on it. But this is just perfect for maybe in another couple of weeks as well for picking and making. Um, it's really great cold, juicing it, um, put it in, in, into your smoothies. It's quite bitter, so that's how you know it's really stimulating for the digestive system and just really good for getting everything moving, filled with chlorophyll and uh, vitamins and minerals. Here's some growing out of a pot. I think it's a pot of valerian. Um, you can see once it takes over, it grows everywhere and it's so easy to pull up. If you don't want it, you just grab it and it comes up in a great big handful, but rather than just chucking it out, um, dry it maybe, make a lovely smoothie with it, put it in a salad. And I've just come into my back garden to show you what it looks like here. Um, here it is growing up amongst the periwinkle. And you'll know that you've identified it correctly because as you pull it up, you see it all comes up in, it's very sort of stringy and leggy. But it has, even before the sticky burrs come, it has that rough, sticky feeling. Um, if you were to put it on your clothing, it would cling on because it has, and I probably can't show you. I don't know if that shows enough. And you see the little tiny hooks all over the leaves and the stem. And so that's what gives it its name, Sticky Burr or Sticky Willy. You'll hear my cat shouting in a minute because he loves this stuff. He's been waiting for me to give him some. So I'll have to pick him some. There's some more growing here amongst the snowdrops that are now fading off. I wonder if I can hold the camera still and pull some up. So yeah, you can see it's really easy to pull up. Um, and so I'm gonna go and put this into a smoothie and give some to Tiger. And I hope this has helped with identifying it. As you can see, Tiger loves it. They are house cats, that's why we have this big cat pen on the back, so this is filled with platforms and greenery and things that they can uh, amuse themselves with, although mostly they just loll around in the sunshine when it's out. And there we go, that's Tiger's first spring dose of cleavers.